morning. Happy Midsummer. It's also Father's Day in the UK, but it's Midsummer which sort of Nordic countries uh, celebrate. There's a few virgins, a bit of paganism, you know, normal, all the normal stuff. So, in light of that, and to correspond with a mail call I got earlier in the week from Harry Wong. Harry Wong is a fictitious character who mysteriously puts his name to parcels that are sent to other wet shavers. Inside the box was a razor, one soap, two soap samples, some blades, lollipops, which gave it away a little bit, uh, and the parcel was sent from the UK even though the soap was from Sweden, well, all the soaps were Swedish actually, uh, and so it was a bit of a bit of a, uh, a combination of things. However, gentlemen, for those of you involved, one Matty Lindholm and the other antagonist, I believe he's Dave Card. Thank you very much. So today I'm gonna I'm unleashing my full on Matty today. Full on Matty Lindholm. Do the razor first. The razor in the package was a matador, which is a Swedish razor. There's a little bit of plate lift on the top cap, which is minor, it's irrelevant. Uh, it's a three piece, non-adjustable razor. I've shaved with this, I shaved with it the other night just to give it a try to see what it was like. Uh, I did contemplate, I looked at these, the damage through a loop, and I contemplated hitting it with the sunlight. 1200, 12,000 wet and dry. Uh, so, nah, I'm just going to leave it. It is what it is. It's had a, a life, it's got a history. Why should I interfere with it for aesthetic, aesthetic purposes? So, we've got a matador, which is matador deluxe, which is a Swedish, for all intents and purposes, a Swedish tech, Gillette tech, equivalent of. Three piece, non adjustable. So that's the razor. <coughs> uh, soap, the Matty Lindholm shaving supplies soap, uh, shaving soap from Sweden, soy wax, coconut oil, shea butter, water, and essential oils in a mild orange scent. Double wrapped, sealed with string, with a little Swedish flag on the back. Haven't used this before. He says trying to get the string off. I've got a, a tin. Yeah, double wrapped. So black tissue, the label on. There's also a spare label as well. Um, some wax paper. 70 grams in size, so a nice size. It's not going to last forever, but it's going to last long enough. Quite firm to touch. Yeah, nice uh, orange scent. And to go with that, a while back I was lucky enough to win a Matty Lindholm brush. Walnut brush with a plisson soft plisson knot. So that's what we're going to use today. And the blade is a Persona Platinum Chrome on its second use. So there we go.
So there's the blade on the top cap. A little bit of overhang, not much. The base plate is similar to a carve. If you look at it, it's got the the, uh, the cutouts at the end. A little bit of overhang, aluminium handle. I haven't put a wash on this one yet, but I will do to preserve the damage. So there we go. So he says looking for something to dry his hands on. Right. Get the brush wet. So if you are celebrating midsummer, don't get too drunk. Don't do anything too rash involving virgins. So, four shakes. And we'll, uh, we'll get to it and see what sort of mess we can make. I've seen other people use this soap recently. Uh, and the results have been pretty good. So I'm looking forward to giving it a try. And I think the yeah, mild orange. I think the soap scent will pair up quite nicely with something like uh, Trey Fresh from Hermes, which is a one of my favourite scents, next to Hermes itself. But it's a slightly lighter. You could even face lather with this, just rub it over the beard. I don't know what Harry Wong and the protagonists Dave Card is a liar he wouldn't have any of it even though the parcel had a UK postmark Matty cracked faster than the Kit Kat initially denied everything and then later on admitted I'm not admitted to it, but the, uh, the soap was from him as he makes it and he had his lollipops pops inside. I did reply to him <clears throat> when he denied all knowledge. I said, Matty, you better phone the police because someone's been in your house, pinched the soap, pinched the razor, and they've pinched some of your lollipops. You've been burgled. It was absolutely gorgeous here today. It's grey, horrible, raining. I think it's going to take a drink. The ergonomics on this, I call this a barrel brush, it's like a, a barrel sort of shape. As opposed to the two ball that Matty also makes. Really nice length. The economics are quite nice. The Plisson soft Plisson, not from Magards, works really well.
because I had this brush, that was one of the reasons why the Plisson got pulled out of the uh, Razor Rock Aluminium. I didn't need two brushes with the same knot and I fancy the Badger with the, uh, the 400 handle. Still dry. This will be 10 minutes before I can get a blade on the face. Apologies. Well, I've got no issues with that whatsoever in any way, shape or form. Didn't even taste too bad. You've got to do a taste test. If you ever do one, try becomes club caller. Comes recommended. Okay, Matty Daughter Lux, Matty Lindholm Soap, Matty Lindholm Brush, the razor came from Matty, rock on Matty. With a Persona, blade on its second use. This razor surprised me the other night. I did a, a basic three pass shave. I was going to say I can't remember what soap I use, but it's down here. There's no SP. Uh, and afterwards, the first felt so good. The combination of all, all the parts just came together. Because it's an older type design, you can see it's quite a thin head, so you can get it under the schnoz, under the nose, quite easily. I've seen Matty use a Matador a few times, and my eBay searches. Another very successful trying to source one. But yeah, the shave is akin to a Gillette Tech. So it's not. Not aggressive as you can see, it's knocked down three days worth of whiskers in one pass. Ready for the sequel to finish its uh, morning call. Got no qualms of that sort, Matty. Mm. 
Mm. Any soap you can make into a pyramid on your chin is uh, fine by me. It's not going anywhere. I know Matty's retailing the soap. I don't know how. So I can provide you a link to Matty's YouTube page in the description below. But I say I don't know how he's how he's selling it. Probably through Facebook, I'd imagine. Yeah, second share of the matter at all. And, uh, pardon me. I was more than happy with the share from the first use. And so far, this one's shipping up to be exactly the same. There's a working shave I could walk out the door right there. I'd be more than happy. Or just as a shave, really. Mr. Seagull agrees. Since the seagulls I had a few comments asking if I live near the coast. From the back door to the North Sea is roughly a two minute walk. So yeah, we're quite close to the, uh, the coastline.
stund. Yeah. I think the meringues and that sort were pretty good. So I'm going to face wash this, get cleaned up, have a slip of coffee, chat to the seagulls. Back in a minute. Before we start back, apologies to Lewis, always had soap all over the nose in that shave. His old CD would have been kicking off. Yeah. Warm water, cold water rinse. Quality. Absolute quality. I enjoyed that. Apologies for the long uh, blather and uh, brush, up. brush load. So we stay, we're staying Swedish. No witch hazel today. Staying Swedish with Hager. This is citrus and musk, so it should go with the uh, orange scents in the uh, the soap quite nicely. Nice bit, of, bit of a sting to it. Oh, there was there. Okay. For my matte lint wall. <sighs> Shave today, we used ML shaving supplies, matte lint wall, matte lint home shaving supplies. Mild orange scent soap. Really nice soap. Matty, you've got that formula recipe pretty well nailed, I would say. Uh, there's the soap there. I'll be going into a, a tin in the bedroom in the near future. The brush was a Matty Lindo Home Shaving Supplies Walnut and Plisson. The razor was a gift from Matty. I haven't polished it, I haven't dried it, there we go. It is a Matador Deluxe, akin to a, a Gillette Tech, but a Swedish razor. Really nice to use. And then we have the Persona Platinum Chrome on its second use. Still in there actually, but we'll sort that out in a wee while. Bit of Scottish water, so I couldn't use any Swedish, haven't got any. And we finished off with a little bit of Hager after shave balm, shaving balm. And I say, if I was to pair that soap up, I would probably just pair it up with during the winter Hermes with its citrus orange vetiver scent. That would go quite nicely. If, um, I think we're going to go out and see Lynn's father later. Well, standing in his garden and leave a present for him. If I do that, I'll probably pair it up with some Tray Fresh, which is a bit more citrusy, lighter, some scent from Hermes as well. That's it, folks. Thanks for watching. Any comments, leave them below. Once again, Matty, Dave, thank you very much. Thanks for watching, bye for now.